Football's fat Freddie Thompson has been removed from high-security Portloway's prison following an alleged assault on two officers. That Thompson head-butted one officer in the face, while a second was left with muscle damage to one shoulder after the convicted killer flew into a rage on the jail sea wing on Wednesday. The formerly high-ranking Kleinerhan cartel criminal allegedly kicked off when the officers approached him and tried to search him over suspicions he had a contraband mobile phone in his possession. It's claimed that as the officers moved in to try and effect a search, Thompson threw his head forward, striking an officer near his eye socket with his forehead. As the second officer tried to go to the aid of his colleague, it's alleged his shoulder was wrenched by Thompson. A source said the officer who was headbutted was due to undergo a scan on his eye socket on Friday to determine whether or not he had sustained a fracture. The second officer was also due to be medically examined, but sources said it's hoped he suffered only temporary muscle injury. Thompson was moved from Port Lois to another prison in the aftermath of the incident. It's understood he will remain in there for a period of at least two weeks to allow tensions around the incident dissipate. Thompson is now the subject of P-19 disciplinary proceedings arising from the incident and could also face fresh criminal charges of assault. The convicted killer, who is serving a life sentence for the murder of David Dith Douglas, has had a fractious relationship with prison officers since he was jailed over the killing. The 42-year-old was sent to Port Louise in 2018 after he was convicted of the July 2016 Kinahan gang murder of former criminal Douglas, 55, in Dublin City. Thompson was a key ally on the outside of Daniel Kinahan, 43 and helped him run the feud against the Hutch crime gang that has left 18 men dead. He was caught after a huge investigation into Douglas's murder. The cartel murdered the Cabra native after an incorrect rumor linked him with a failed 2015 gun attack on an associate of the Kinahan gang. Guard investigations would show he was in another part of Dublin when the incident occurred on the Enoas Road. But the rumor was enough to seal Douglas's fate. He became a target for a criminal cell that included veteran gangster Thompson. At the very moment, Mr. Douglas was shot dead Thompson was standing on a nearby street. CCTV footage, which was shown in court during his trial in 2018, showed him dismantling a mobile phone and handing it to another person. He is also seen manipulating a SIM card in an effort to break it up. Moments earlier Thompson was seen driving by Douglas's shop, in what prosecuting counsel Sen Ghislaine said was a final recce, a last look to see if the intended victim was in his shop. Mr Ghislaine said at Thompson's trial that although there was just one finger on the trigger, there were many hands on the gun that shot Douglas. It was believed Lee Canavan was the actual gunman, but the court said that it did not believe there was enough evidence for it to reach this conclusion beyond reasonable doubt. The court did, however, find Canavan guilty of murder, and this was based on an analysis of CCTV, forensic evidence and other evidence. Thompson is expected to spend at least 20 years behind bars, but the first four years of his sentence have been marked by constant complaints and accusations against prison officers and the prison authorities. In November of last year, he initiated high court proceedings against the Irish Prison Service, alleging they had failed to respond to questions about the conditions of his then detention in Limerick Prison. He claimed that, as soon as he arrived in Limerick Prison, he was confined to a padded cell, without his clothing or personal items and isolated from other prisoners. Fat Freddy also claimed he has not been told by the authorities why he was moved, or if he has been put there as a disciplinary sanction. Thompson had been moved to Limerick from Port Lies the previous October 2022. The move came after the notorious gangster made formal complaints to the prison authorities about the conduct of some prison officers in Port Lies towards him. Thompson claims that those complaints were upheld in a report compiled by the person who investigated his allegation. However, he claimed that neither he nor his solicitor had been given a copy of the investigator's report. He also claimed he was subjected to further mistreatment at the hands of prison officers in Port Lois. 
Thompson also complained in April 2021, alleging he was deprived of sleep at night due to banging on his cell door. He also claims that he was denied access to newspapers, that his dietary requirements were ignored, and that his cell was the subject of overly frequent searches by prison officers. This was not the first High Court intervention Thompson sought over his conditions behind bars. In 2019, he brought High Court proceedings against the prison authorities over what he claimed were the oppressive conditions of his detention for some 18 months in Portlois Prison's A-Wing, which is known as the Punishment Block. The prison service, the prison governor and the minister for justice opposed Thompson's action and said his then prison regime was due to security concerns. That claim was eventually withdrawn in November 2019 after Thompson was moved by the prison authorities from the isolation block and placed with the mainstream prison population. Shortly after arriving in Portlaway's Inn, Thompson claimed that three officers had come to his cell with the intent, and he felt they wanted him to do damage to a more senior officer there. 